Hi there. Welcome. Emptiness, part nine. I certainly didn't think I'd be doing this many sessions. Anyway, hopefully they're useful for you. Don't forget that it's really important to go back to the first one again, go step by step, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc., and then repeat them. Why? Because every time you go back, you will pick up on things that you didn't notice before or that you didn't understand before because they were new to you. But now as you return, they perhaps make more sense. And that's how you build the understanding. Okay, so this session is another practical session. More meditating upon emptiness. Firstly, we need to understand the ideas. We need to study them, think about them, reflect upon them, try to make sense of them. And once we do have a feeling for them, we need to practice sitting with that feeling. That's what we'll do today. First of all, have a big breath in and a deep sigh. Close your eyes, become relaxed. Now, we did this in the previous session, and we'll do it again now. A breathing tool that is ideal preparation for meditating upon emptiness, and also a tool that will lead us to naturally understanding the insights of emptiness. Square breathing. Breathing only through the nose. Four sides of the breath. In, hold full. Out, hold empty. And to be a square, it must be four equal sides. So you count. Whatever count it takes you to breathe into full, then you sit holding full for that same duration. Then exhale down to empty for that same count. And then sit holding the empty breath for the same count. Let's try it now just for a few minutes. Find a number that is very relaxing for you. Quite easy. Not one that makes you work too hard or run out of breath. Let's relax into this practice. Relax the mind.
last round. When you're finished, have a sigh. And after the practice, sitting in a restful way, noticing the effect. How does it make you feel, that breathing technique? How does it feel it's affecting your body? And how does it feel it's affecting your mind? Remember, if you keep looking with subtle awareness, you will start to notice more things, more detail over time. Okay, have a sigh. And then open your eyes. Now, a few minutes of square breathing, not going to make a huge difference, but if you do it every day, you will be able to immerse yourself into it better. So the better you get at this, at relaxing into it, the stronger it will be. Keep in mind that 5, 10, 20 minutes, these are better durations. They will have a more solid impact. But don't worry, 3 minutes is fine. It's certainly better than 0 minutes. Okay. So, we're going to do some short meditations and we're going to sit with an idea of a feeling and try to meditate upon that feeling. This is what we need to do. Once we start to understand these ideas, we need to sit with them. Really get a good feeling for them. We need to learn about not just the idea, but the feeling of them. We need to stabilize ourselves in these feelings. It's very important. Then we can bring them into our lives. So the first one we're going to sit with is merely imputed by thought. All things, all labeled things, labeled by your thinking mind, all things are merely imputed by thought. Close your eyes. Whatever you've learned about that idea, see if you can get a sense of what that feeling is and stay with it. It's okay if you need to think about it, if you're still trying to work out exactly what it means. If so, do that work. Once you've located the feeling, stay with it. A sigh. And open your eyes. 
Next one. Now, because all things, all labelled things in our reality are merely imputed by thought, constructed and labelled by our thinking mind, that means that they are all dependent arising. All things, all ideas in our reality arise in the shape that they appear to have dependent upon the labelling our mind has given. All things are dependent arising. Close your eyes. Let's get a feeling for that. Then have a sigh. Open your eyes. Remember that with these ideas come ramifications, new meanings for everything that we've related to previously in our lives. Okay, the next one. All things, all perceived things, all things that have been constructed by our mind, all things are empty of inherent existence. What that means is no thing exists inherently of itself, uninfluenced by causes and conditions. All things exist dependent upon causes and conditions. And the main cause and condition for all things existing is that they are imputed by thought. And so, because they are dependent arising and not independent, they are empty of inherent existence. Let's try that. All things, including myself, are empty of inherent existence.
have a deep breath. And open your eyes. So remember, we are developing an understanding of these ideas and getting a sense of the feeling of them, what that means for us in our lives, in our reality. Okay, the next one, boundlessness. We want to sit with the feeling of boundlessness. All five streams of body, heart and mind are boundless. Boundlessness is the nature of all things. Close your eyes. Get a sense of boundlessness. Unlimited boundlessness. Have a sigh. And then open your eyes. Next one. Gone, gone, gone beyond, gone utterly beyond the mind. Close your eyes. Have a deep breath. And then open your eyes. Last one. Gone, gone, gone to the other shore. Landed at the other shore. Wisdom, hey. Close your eyes.
de bar. Get a sense of your mind, how it's feeling now. How does it feel open? Okay, open your eyes. Good work. Thanks very much.